what's going on guys my name is Scott Tracy I'm here to pretty much make a video talking about dreads a little bit you know get you know diving in deep um now to be quite honest with you I know a lot of people say well how can I get them quick how do you do that what do you do well let me tell you one thing You need to have a lot of hair. You can't be thinning, otherwise it's not gonna look right. Or you can get extensions. That's also another alternative to dreads. There's, there's a such thing called man weaves, which should be a little pricey, I think. If you're if you're getting other people's hair put into your head, that's hard work. You know, it's like manual labor. <laughs> but um, let me just say it like this. I sound like too cocky because I've been in the dread game for four years, like actually five years already almost. And I, I don't want to sound cocky, I don't want to brag, but it takes takes a lot of time, man. Like a lot of people just think it takes like you know Rome. Like I know people are probably sick of hearing this shit, but Rome wasn't built in a night. You know, it wasn't built overnight. And to be quite honest with you. You're gonna be very happy with the result. It's like a tattoo, man. Once it fades, it gets old. But it's up to you if you want to keep it on. You know, it's like up to you if you want to keep it permanent or you want to get rid of it. You know, it's like wine. The older it gets, the better it tastes. But of course, I never drank wine, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, I've always followed like a parent hood guideline of just never doing drugs, never smoking, never doing this, never doing that. I know some of you, uh, yeah, you're probably going to be surprised because Bob Marley's on the wall with the weed. Kind of like vibe to it, but I've never done it. And I'm not lying to save my ass from any kind of like people that try and prosecute me. It's just I never really found the really neat urge to do any of that kind of stuff. I don't need something to alter me to make me feel better. I mean, to be quite honest with you, I, I'm fine the way I am. And I wish a lot more people were like that too, because it's, they're hard to come by. They're like diamonds in the rough, man. Everyone wants to be like, oh yeah, 420 this, oh yeah, weed, alcohol, sex, drugs, money, girl, clothes. It ain't all about that, man. It's loving who you are. All that shit is like, you throw that shit to the sideline because I don't make you a person. You make yourself the person of what you want yourself to be in life. You can't use materialistic things to make you happy, otherwise you'll be miserable. And you'll always want more, and then you'll keep pushing people away to want, get what you want. I, I learned that from experience. Because, you know, I mean, I've done the same thing where it's like I feel like I wanted something and I do anything in my life to get it in my power. But then you look back and it's like, did I really need it? No. So I just look at it from like a different perspective. I look at shit from a different angle and different, you know, different point of view. I have different standards uh, of different things, and um, I just keep on doing me, man. And I think it'd be cool to see more dreadheads out there, man. To be honest with you, I feel like it's, it's fading away a little bit. A lot of people just want to get braids now and fuck the dreads, you know. I mean, or if they don't want to get the dreads, it's too long of a wait, so they'll get synthetic or if it's they get drug rot or if they get mold mildew. Trust me, you can get really gunky. You know what I mean? I take showers every day, so my, my shit's good. I don't know about you, but I keep my shit on point. Like, I, know what I, I know what I'm supposed to do every, every day. Like, that's my ritual to go and take a shower, bathe. Just you know, enjoy enjoy my time that I have with feeling hot water, 
touch my face. Shout out to Aquaman. Not not Aquaman, but shout out to Aqua. That keeps me alive. It keeps me thorough. And hand sanitizer. I love that shit. But yeah, it's just gonna be a pep talk, you know. Who you don't gotta follow what I say, but I just think the world would be a lot more better if people listened instead of just trying doing things on their own. I mean, you got these people that say, "Oh yeah, I want drugs right now. I want them right now." It doesn't work like that, man. It's like a math equation. You need to solve it before you answer. You know, I mean, you can't answer it before solving it. <laughs> Am I even making sense now? Probably not. <laughs> But I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I'm so glad you got to listen to me talk. Um, you know, more videos are on the way on this channel because I did change the name. And I'm very happy and pleased with the name change because the other one was just like long, just too stupid. I didn't like it at all. But anyways, thank you for stopping by the channel. Deuces.